I want these kids to develop from start to end a community service project that will help build and better our community. If you notice a sudden drop in the amount of money in your wallet, stop taking advertisements. Brain swelling that lasts for more than four hours could be a sign of too much advertising. So looking forward, how do we build on this expansion of responsible, community conscious businesses? Well, one answer lies in the way we train our youngsters about business. They don't want to be doing hands-on projects inside the classroom that doesn't affect or change anything. They want to change community by doing it, by being involved. There's harder moments that you feel like, wow, another step now? And then they'd let us know, well, maybe you're done now. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> My first season here, I showed a lot of initiative. I didn't just wait for someone to tell me what to do. If I saw something that needed to get done, I did it. So the projects that we are doing and the people that we're meeting and the skills that we are creating will only help. Making a first impression, especially here, is really important because there are so many applicants for seasonal jobs and you have to be enthused about the job. Otherwise, they're going to find someone else that wants that job more than you do. Let's build them, train them, and have them come back and work in our own communities to make it better. If you fail, you learn from your mistakes, basically. If I try and fail, I'm not going to regret that. But if I never even try, that will haunt me all my life. That's just a taste of immense possibilities, our weekly series on inspired projects and people we want you to know about. See that click here link below? Good. That's where you click to watch this full episode to find out more about immense possibilities.